Barack Obama, John McCain, two candidates, one winner, fighting to the bitter end. The battle of the news headline starts now. Well, it's uh, it's been close. So far, we go to uh, we go to Stu for some of the stats of the previous races. It is a very very close race as we compare the headlines in the paper every day. Uh, that the uh, media has reported on McCain versus Obama, and uh, how close are we? Well, right now, Glenn, we have a complete shutout with Barack Obama. All of the wins, and McCain, none of the wins. But there's still a chance he can come back. It, uh, right, of course. I mean, we, you'd lose attention. You yeah. wouldn't want to pay attention to our today, broadcast. Yeah, today would uh, <laughs> today would be that day. Because I'm sure there's a lot of things that, you know, people are saying that, oh, wait a minute, that looked like uh, kind of standing at the Berlin Wall and speaking about communism tenderly. Well, I'm sure that's been covered. Let's start with McCain today. Here's headline number one. Bratwurst for McCain and relish, too. For McCain, some GOP landmines. McCain ignored by mainstream press. Headline number four, John McCain's Hispanic slump. And finally, headline number five, did McCain back the new counterinsurgency strategy? Ooh, we stop here now at the half and get some analysis of the first half. Well, Steve. Glenn, I actually would uh, would say that that's a very positive first half for John McCain, considering I didn't think there would be any headlines written about him at all with Barack Obama being so fabulous. All right, then we go into the second half now. Here's headline number one for Obama. Obama takes McCain's trip dare, leaving McCain on defensive. Obama leads with Latinos as he launches, oh, good, as he launches a Spanish-language spot. Obama draws more than 200,000 in Berlin. Headline number four, Obama's speech draws praise from Chancellor's office. <clears throat> and what must be the headline of the day? Headline number five, Maliki votes for Obama. Once again, Barack Obama comes out on top. Glowing headline after glowing headline. Gee, what a freaking surprise. That's unbelievable. Does he know he can't vote for? 